Let's talk Universal Orlando. Well, I recently visited Universal Orlando, Universal Studios, um, this past December. And while I was there, I stayed at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort. And um, I've done a very detailed uh, video on Cabana Bay and why uh, I feel the cons do outweigh staying at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Again, I would not recommend it. I would recommend going probably over to Sapphire instead. Another concern that I picked up at Universal Orlando, which is honestly safety concerns regarding crowd control, safety training, um, just like poor measures I felt on Universal's part that they're not taking um, the crowds seriously enough. Um, obviously, obviously Universal Orlando is a theme park at the end of the day and they generate a huge amount of traffic of visitors that come to their park every day. But I noticed honestly when I was there and that was in December that there were very poor crowd control measures at Universal Orlando and I've seen this in people's like vlogs and reddits and that type of stuff that especially when you get into areas like Hogsmeade it, which is the area I think over at Islands of Adventure um, I had to like bolt out of that place. I wanted to see it so badly, but it was so crowded at Hogsmeade that um, I honestly thought it was dangerous. There were no safety control measures in place, crowd control measures. If you have that many people walking where you're actually, um, you know, bumping into people and you can't get away from people, that is obviously not a safe issue. So it didn't seem like Universal Orlando was taking any measures into effect to um, monitor how many people were in certain areas of the theme park. And then I've seen from other people's videos regarding spring break and spring break um, travels over getaways over to Universal Orlando that there is not um, the crowds are insane the crowds now with spring break are, are looking actually worse than when I was there for Christmas and from what I've heard from other vloggers on on Universal that winter actually is actually one of the slower times at Universal Orlando which is interesting that's not the case at Disney and um, the crowd control issues are quite a concern at Universal Orlando. It just does not seem like they're taking any measures in place to ensure the safety of their guests there. there. I really did not see one cast member there that was like conducting, you know, safety training where uh, you're monitoring how crowded certain areas are getting. It was just kind of like a free for all. And it was at a point where when I was there, you're literally like touching up against people and it just did not feel safe. And I kind of bolted out of Hogsmeade and it's kind of, I think Hogsmeade as well as Diagon Alley it's kind of like a one way in out type of thing so once you're in there you do have to backtrack all the way out in order to get out of the park unless you're going to go on the train which is a whole other thing it just was not a safe issue and i wish that universal orlando would take better crowd control measures for visitors that are going there for spring break i also noticed when i stayed at the cabana bay beach resort i made it wasn't a mistake but i was unaware i stayed there during cheer and there was a large amount of uh, cheer people there with with chaperones and all that and there was no security measures when it came place to rowdiness at the hotel uh, again this has to do with crowds there was literally a girl she went surfing on a um a luggage cart through the food court all the way down the alley on the where uh, against the windows and then she crashed into the wall it's like universal what are you doing like if you have people crowd like surfing on luggage carts a cabana bay that's probably like a security risk at your hotel so there was not enough um crowd control measures happening at this resort they just didn't seem to take it seriously and i mean that both at the resort resort and as well as the theme park so yeah i mean if you have guests that are visiting universal studios this year 2023 um i mean a lot of people will go you know for spring break or spring break getaways with their family and i mean if you are not providing safety to your patrons that are going to Universal Studios, I just don't see how that makes any sense. You really would really think that they would conduct some sort of safety training amongst their cast members or, or their, their employees there that would know obviously the safety of their guests comes first. But obviously, you know, these theme parks are showing time and time again that they are entirely about profit. See, the bird agrees with me. Um, so yeah, if I'm going to a theme park, especially a theme park that I was not familiar with, I had not been to Universal Orlando, um, you know since I was extremely young and that was one time in LA I would expect that you know 
as a visitor, they are trying to keep me safe at the resort. And it was completely unsafe at Diagon Alley. It was completely safe at, uh, very, very unsafe at Hogsmeade. I mean, the crowds that were in Hogsmeade honestly felt dangerous. At Universal Orlando, you could get crushed. Uh, you could you could trip. You could get have someone stampede over you. It didn't seem like Universal was taking any measures to make sure that guests are safe at um at Universal Studios, which was extremely disappointing for people. And again, you can imagine how bad the crowds are for spring break uh, travelers, spring break vloggers that are going to Universal Studios, you know, to vlog and this and that, or just be there with their friends. And I'm very disappointed in their um, inability to care about the safety of their guests at Universal Orlando. So again, I stayed at Cabana Bay Beach Resort this past time I went to Universal Orlando. I do have quite a few videos up on my channel. Um, I could even try to link them in the description below in case you want to um, uh, check out those videos. But I just did not feel that uh, there were like safety measures being taken into place at Universal Orlando. Uh, again, I would not recommend Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal. Um, I would definitely recommend to you to go to um, Sapphire or even save up and go to one of the other hotels or even go to the Disney Hotel and commute because that was just not a safe issue for all the reasons that I have discussed in my videos and I'll try to uh, link those below in the description so you can check out those videos as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'm also going to post a video um, on things that I've recently loved and have purchased from Amazon so check that one out as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video and bye!